Hey folks, Jeff Butts from the Mac Observer here, and I'm going to show you a new feature in iMazing. As you all know, uh, sadly, Apple took away app management from iTunes 12.7. They gave it back in a special version of 12.6.3, but we don't think it's going to stick around for very long. However, the most current version of iMazing gives us that app management back. So let's take a look. I launch iMazing and connect to my iPhone. And now I have an option called Manage Apps. I click on that. It loads all of the apps that it knows about. All of the apps that were on my iPhone the last time it pulled a backup. And you can see those listed here. If the app is installed to my phone, because right now I'm on the library tab, it has a check mark beside it. The green check mark means that that particular application bundle is downloaded to my computer. If the check mark is gray, that means it's on my phone, but it's not downloaded to my computer. There's two ways I can fix that. I can either right click and choose download to library. And this will require that you be signed into the app store. If you have two factor authentication, turned on, it will ask you to authenticate the first time you do this, but I've already done this once, so it didn't. And you can see it downloaded that application bundle in really short order. Um, so that's how you can tell if the app is already downloaded to your, to your Mac or not. Uh, in this case, I've got a few apps that I've downloaded, but most of them I haven't yet. Now let's take a look here and you see that Assistant does not have a check mark beside it. It is not installed on my device and it's not downloaded to my Mac either. If I want to install it to my device, I just right click and choose install to device, or I can just click on this button that says install to device. Once you do that, it downloads the app so that it maintains a copy of it on your hard drive. It copies the file onto your iPhone, and then it'll go back and show me my apps again. So now you can see that it's got the check mark beside it. The check mark is green, indicating that it's downloaded on my particular hard drive. I can delete it from my library by right clicking and choosing delete from library. And the check mark changes colors. I can search. So let's say I want to find any apps that I have that have the word step in them. I don't have any on my in my library right now. Uh, how about Pokemon? There we go. It didn't automatically change that E to the E with the accent. But there you can see that I have Pokemon Go. It is not installed on my device yet, um, so but it is listed there. If you don't see your apps there, if they're not in your library, you can click Add from App Store. And this performs a search of the App Store. If you have already downloaded the app, or um, for apps that you've already purchased from the App Store, they will show up here and you can install them to your device. It will also show apps that you haven't installed. And according to the documentation, I shouldn't and I can't because I have not yet acquired this particular app. So there is a limit to what iMazing can do. It can only download apps that you've already purchased or acquired from the App Store using the Apple ID that you're signed in with. Any other apps you will have to find from your device and install them that way. With that said, my pedometer apps that I might not already have. That one I haven't actually done. Map my run I haven't. I believe pedometer plus plus I own. Yep, there we go. And it's downloading. And now it'll show up in my library. So if I search for steps, it shows the app. If I search for pedometer, it shows that one. So that's the library tab. 
There's also the device tab. And from the device tab, you see only the apps that are installed on your device. And if you want to uninstall an app, you just click the button uninstall. It asks if you're sure you want to uninstall it. You say yes, and poof, it's gone. Now, let's say you've got a game that you want to back up. You can do that using the backup button or by right clicking and choosing backup app data. If you back up your app data, this does not save the application archive. It only saves the data from that app. This way, you can temporarily delete a game or some other app that stores data. And later on, you can put that data back on your phone when you reinstall the app. Okay, when you, re when you restore the iMazing app file, it actually downloads the app for you installs the apps, and then restores the app data. So that's a pretty cool feature. Again, you can search for the app or filter by your Apple ID if, you're, if you've got multiple Apple IDs. If I just type in Clefmeister, it shows me all of the apps. These are apps that I've downloaded using a different Apple ID. So you can see that the, the new app tab is very useful. What else would be good to know? You can import an IPA file. If you have apps that you've downloaded previously with previous versions of iTunes, you can import them into your library this way. You're also able to export the IPA. So you can actually save your IPA files to a backup drive. And uh, this is great for those of you who might fear losing an app like Flappy Bird or something of that nature. So that is Manage Apps in iMazing. It's a great new feature and hopefully it sticks around, but um, enjoy it while it's there for sure. I've talked to the developers at DigiDNA who make iMazing. They don't believe Apple will shut it down, but it's always possible. In the meantime, just keep on clicking away, keep on tapping, and have a great day.